Friends, let us learn surgical management of a case of malignant glaucoma through this video. Facotrab was done for this eye three weeks back. Patient came with shallow anterior chamber and increased intraocular pressure one week after surgery. Conservative treatment with atropine was attempted but it was not fruitful. IOP was not at all controlled. Now the patient came after one week with flat anterior chamber all around. Intraocular pressure was 46 millimeter of mercury and I decided to take off the case for surgery. My plan is to do three port vitrectomy and jonulo iridectomy. For three port vitrectomy I I'm doing conjunctival peritomy for few clock hours. This is the left eye of the patient and here in this area I'm going to use two trockers. Now we use old trockers we are, which are sterilized by ethylene oxide that is etiode and I use a sharp needle first so that this trucker which has been used several times can go easily through the track. So this is the sharp needle, a disposable needle of 24-23 gauge. It is being used first and then the trucker goes easily through the track. And now again this is for the irrigation. Now two more trockers will be placed. The trockers are being placed about 3.5 millimeter away from the limbus. So this is another track and the second trocker goes through this. Since the blave is functioning, blave is ok superiorly I am using these sites. This is about 9 o'clock or so. So through this track, track another tracker goes And now I am ready for three port vitrectomy. The infrotemporal tracker is being used for irrigation. The other two trackers will be used for the endo elimination and cutter. I tried to do this way but it was cumbersome because the nose was obstructing the cutter. So I took the light pipe in my right hand and the cutter in my left hand and I started doing vitrectomy. The machine being used is Faro's. This is 3000 cuts and uh, vacuum is 300, fluoride, fluoride is 30 and the vitrectomy is being done. This is not a thorough vitrectomy, this is a core vitrectomy without base excision and without induction of PVD. So vitrectomy is in progress. And now um, again uh, doing okay now pl my plan is to do jonulo aridectomy 
where it is I come superiorly near 12 o'clock and the cutter is brought in contact with the posterior capsule first I did uh, cut at 10 o'clock there was a YAG PI there and now I came to 12 o'clock cut the posterior capsule and genual and iris so we can say this is genulo aridectomy or capsulo genulo aridectomy now as soon as I did this the anterior chamber formed automatically all around before this step before this genulo aridectomy the antechamber was almost flat all around now the antechamber is formed and it is almost normal depth now I injected a bit of triamcinolone and I'm going again the idea was to see if I have done adequate vitrectomy or not yes this facilitated vitrectomy the transnolone little bit of transnolone which was resting over the macula was left this will help in reducing inflammation and it will prevent probably it will prevent choroidal detachment and now the iris was in opposition with the cornea for few days so I made a small paracentesis used a Sinsky hook and I pulled the iris towards the center so that the angle becomes open all around and now the trockers were removed now since these trockers are used trockers I close these sides by 10 o nylon we can use 9 o nylon also I usually don't prefer vicryl because vicryl suture is too much irritating for tissues so this is the all the sclerotomy so I closed by tenon nylon I'm going to show only one and after this after this the conjunctiva was reposited and some releasable sutures were used to keep the conjunctiva in position I'll show only one releasable suture connectiva is reposited just three loops pull the thread and cut this is releasable suture I have a lot of videos on releasable suture you can see that now this is the post of pictures next day cornea is clear antechamber is of normal depth and the intraocular pressure is only 14 millimeter of mercury from 46 it has come down to 14 
the patient is very happy vision has improved to 6 by 36 it was counting finger close to face so thank you very much for your attention hope this video will guide you in your surgical management of malignant glaucomas